so welcome to my video on how I do my hair at home. Um, in this video I'm going to show you what I do for the Curly Girl Method. The first step I do is I apply some leave-in conditioner to my hair when it's wringing wet. I've just stepped out the shower here, so I'm just putting it all through my hair and I'm going to brush it through with a Denman brush. I like to do this because it helps the hair to clump together. I then like to give my hair a little bit of a shake and then I scrunch and squish to condition all the conditioner into my hair. So I just use my fist just to scrunch up the hair and give it a little bit of curl. It gets out some of the water as well and it squishes all that conditioner into the cuticle. Next I apply my curl cream. This time I'm using Flora Curl. I just apply bits of my hands and I use my flats of my hands just to bring it all through my hair. This method is called praying hands method. I'm just standing up now just to find where my parting is and get it to lay nicely. Just check to see that it's all curled straight. And any little curls that I don't like, I can sort out in a minute. If there's any pieces of hair that I don't like, I'll run the Denman brush back through them and cord them around my finger. Squeeze out any excess water and just keep scrunching them. I like to squeeze out any extra excess water with a microfiber towel. This is totally optional. Some people prefer their hair to be a lot wetter. My hair is very thick. So I find it just helps it to dry a little bit quicker. I like to apply my gel before I plop my hair. So I'm using praying hands to make sure it's all over the hair. Then I'm scrunching it in to make sure the ends are coated. Next is plopping the hair. Lower your head into the towel or t-shirt. Wrap it around your head using the sleeves as your tie handles. This lets the hair sit nicely and form a curl. This is what my hair looks like when I take it out of my plop. So the curls are nice and bouncy and ready to be dried. I use a diffuser to dry my curls on a low speed and a low heat. Move around your head, turn the hairdryer off in between so you don't blow your hair everywhere. Use the diffuser as a cup to hold your hair and support the curl. Also, try to avoid touching your hair too much so you don't cause any more frizz. The only time I do touch my hair when diffusing is by putting my fingers into the roots to give the roots a lift while I'm drying. I find my roots really hard to dry, so sometimes I support my hair using a towel or a t-shirt and use a diffuser in the roots to dry the root area. This is my hair with a cast. Nice and crispy. Cast is formed from the gel and the mousse that you use. So to get rid of this, you need to scrunch out the crunch using your hands. I normally use a tiny little bit of oil, such as Righteous Roots oil, and scrunch and scrunch and scrunch. This way, it stops and breaks up all the gel and all the mousse and softens your hair, but keeps the curl. I also turn it upside down and rub into my roots, but obviously not on the parting, because I don't want to upset not the top the section. And I'm left with really thick, curly hair. Good luck, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Bye.